Unit 7, Target 9. I can apply divisibility rules for 2, 3, 5, 6, 9, and 10 in problem solving. First, I want to go over the divisibility rules and some examples. A number is divisible by 2 if it's even. Here we have the number 4. It's divisible by 2 because it ends in an even number, which is going to be a 0, 2, 4, 6, or an 8. 12 ends in a 2, so it's also even. The number 121 ends in a 1, which makes it not even. It also makes it not divisible by 2. A number is divisible by 3 if the sum of the digits are divisible by 3. 27. When we check 27, we're going to take 2 plus 7 and get 9. Since 9 is divisible by 3, 27 is divisible by 3. Here we have the number 528. 5 plus 2 is 7. 7 plus 8 is 15. 15 is divisible by 3, so 528 is divisible by 3. And our next example will be 253. 2 plus 5 is 7. 7 plus 3 is 10. 10 is not divisible by 3, so 253 is not divisible by 3. A number is divisible by 6 if it is divisible by both 2 and 3. So when we're looking for divisibility by 6, we go back to our rules for 2 and 3, and if it works for both of them, it's also divisible by 6. If it's not doesn't work for one of these two, then it's not divisible. Let's check a couple examples. 24. 24 is divisible by 2 because 4 is even. And 24, when we take 2 plus 4 is 6, is divisible by 3 which means 24 is also divisible by 6. 246. It ends in an even digit, so it's divisible by 2. 2 plus 4 is 6. 6 plus 6 is 12. 12 is divisible by 3, so 246 is divisible by both 2 and 3, which makes it divisible by 6. And then 531. First of all, it ends in a 1, so it's an odd number. Since it doesn't work for 2, it doesn't work for 6. Now let me show you the rules for 5, 9, and 10. A number is divisible by 5 if it ends in a 5 or a 0. Pretty simple rule. In the case of 75, it ends in a 5, so it is divisible by 5. 120 ends in a 0, it is divisible by 5. And 139 does not end in a 5 or a 0, it is not divisible by 5. A number is divisible by 9 if the sum of the digits are divisible by 9. Very similar to the rule for the 3. So we're going to add the digits. 3 plus 4 is 7. 7 plus 2 is 9. Since the sum is divisible by 9, 342 is divisible by 9. <clears throat> 945. 9 plus 4 is 13. 13 plus 5 is 18. 18 is divisible by 9, so 945 is divisible by 9. 1,235. 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 3 is 6, plus 5 is 11. 11 is not divisible by 9, so 1,235 is not divisible by 9. A number is divisible by 10 if it ends with a 0. Um, 60 is divisible by 10 because it ends in a 0. 200, excuse me, 370 is divisible by 10 because it ends in a 0. And 255 is not divisible by 10 because it does not end in a 0. Now let's look at a couple situations where we could be using this. A couple of them, one would just be to test the divisibility of a number. If I say test the divisibility of 1,242 for 2, 3, 5, 6, 9, and 10. When I'm checking for 2, this number is even, so it is divisible by 2. When I'm checking for 3, I go back to the sum of the digits. 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 4 is 7, plus 2 is 9, so it is divisible by 3. Checking for a 5, my rule was ends in a 5 or a 0. This does not end in a 5 or a 0, so it doesn't work for 5. I'll check for 6. It already is divisible by 2 and 3, which makes it divisible by 6. The sum of the digits one more time was a 3. <clears throat> plus 4 is 7, 8, 9. Since 9 is divisible by 9, it's also divisible by 9. And for 10, it ends in a 2. It does not end in a 0, so it's not divisible by 10. So 1,242 is divisible by 2, 3, 6, and 9. 
The 5 did not work and the 10 did not work. Another application of this is to reduce fractions. If I have the fraction 24 fortieths, I'm going to try to put it in lowest terms. That means that the greatest common factor of the numerator and denominator is 1. Right now, if I look at 24 and 40, I can reduce it. It has a common factor of 2. Both of them could be divisible by 4. Both of them could be divisible by uh, 6 or 8. We're just going to start easy. You can do this in one step by dividing by the greatest common factor, or you could do it in several steps, just making sure you divide by a common factor. If I divide 24 by 2, I'll get 12. If I divide 40 by 2, I get 20. So 24 twelfths is equal to 12 twentieths. However, 12 twentieths can still be reduced. If I'm looking for a common factor, 4 will go into both 12 and 20. 12 divided by 4 is going to give us 3, and 20 divided by 4 is going to give us 5. 3 and 5, the only common factor happens to be 1, so 3 fifths is a reduced fraction. And the last one would be a story type of problem where it says I have 24 deaths in my room. Um, can I make rows of 5? Why or why not? And you need to be ready to explain. If I have 24, we're checking for divisibility. Is 24 divisible by 5? And the answer would be no. And why or why not? When I'm coming up with an explanation, I will look because 24 is not divisible by 5. 